हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल डिस्कस वन इम्पॉर्टेंट रिएक्शन ऑफ फिनोल एंड इट इज कॉलबेज रिएक्शन इन कॉलबेज रिएक्शन व्हेन सोडियम फिनॉक्साइड is treated with carbon dioxide at 400 kelvin temperature and 4 to 7 atm pressure we obtains sodium salicylate and this product sodium salicylate on acidification this gives salicylic acid means we may write the reaction in this manner this is sodium phenoxide and when it is treated with carbon dioxide the conditions are at 400 kelvin temperature and 4 to 7 atm pressure we will get here sodium salicylate and this sodium salicylate on acidification here mineral acid is used sodium salicylate will furnish an a plus ion which comes out with the cl minus of acid in the form of nacl and finally you will get salicylic acid you may also call it a 2 hydroxy benzoic acid is obtained remember remember there's the important note here although here this is not the only product we obtains in this reaction although there's four hydroxy benzoic acid or you may call it that is a its para isomer is also formed here but it will be a uh, as a minor product one important thing more here one should note it down that if you will raise the temperature above 410 kelvin so the major product will be the 4 hydroxy benzoic acid instead of the 2 hydroxy benzoic acid note here if the temperature this exceeds then 410 kelvin then then para isomer is obtained as major product so there after now we will discuss the how the reaction occurs note it down now 
here I'm discussing the mechanism of the reaction. Here what happens? This is our sodium phenoxide. Now this sodium phenoxide dissociates. and it sets free its sodium ion. Now you will get a phenoxide ion. Now as here you know that the here's the lone pair of the oxygen are in conjugation with the ring. So these lone pairs also participate here in resonance or you may say that the OH group is electron releasing so this will release the electron pair towards the ring as the electron pair comes here so this carbon will become pentavalent so in order to <coughs> remove the pentavalency here these carbon will shift in the forward direction and we will get here uh, another resonating structure these two double bonds are lying at their position as the two electrons of this bond shifted over the carbon, so carbon will become negatively charged and here the double bond will form in between the ring and oxygen. As oxygen has donated the electron pair, so oxygen will get positively charged and already this oxygen is having negative charge. So here oxygen will become neutral now. Now no need to write down the further more resonating structures as the major product at 400 Kelvin uh, is salicylic acid means 2 uh, hydroxy benzoic acid. So here at 400 Kelvin and 4 to 7 atm pressure this one reacts with the carbon dioxide. In carbon dioxide, it is having a linear structure and carbon is bonded with the oxygen by the double bonds and the Na plus ion are still here. So under the influence of these ions, the pi electrons, electromagnetic effect comes into the existence. The pi electrons remains displaced towards the or shifted towards the oxygen. Oxygen acquires negative charge while carbon acquires positive charge. Now the electronegative carbon, this one forms bond or donates its electron pair to the electropositive carbon of the carbon dioxide. Here this was the ring. At this carbon already there is one hydrogen. Now once the electron pair are donated to the uh, electropositive carbon of the carbon dioxide, so a new bond will form between the electropositive carbon of carbon dioxide and carbon of the ring. Over this carbon, one oxygen is bonded by the double bond and as the python shifted over one oxygen, so here single bond will left in between the carbon and oxygen and this oxygen will acquire now negative charge. See the Na plus ion which are obtained by the dissociation of the sodium phenoxide are still in the medium. So this sodium ion will form bond with the electronegative oxygen. Now see the, hy the hydrogen carbon adjacent to the functional group is alpha carbon and the hydrogen linked over alpha carbon is alpha hydrogen. Alpha hydrogen is acidic in nature. Now what happens here? See the pi bond of the CO bond shifted over the oxygen because oxygen is second most electronegative and this is alpha hydrogen which is acidic in nature it is having a tendency to come out in the form of H plus. So in order to compensate the deficiency of the car electron deficiency of this carbon the two electrons of the CH bond shifted in between the these two carbon atoms and as a result here double bond will form in between the two carbon atoms here. 
Now, here single bond will left in between the carb ring and oxygen. Oxygen will acquire negative charge as both the pi tons shifted over oxygen. Now, this electronegative oxygen will form bond with the H plus ion which sets free from alpha position. And here it is C double bond O O Na. And we obtain sodium salicylate. Now, this sodium salicylate thus obtained undergoes acidification. Here, the HCl dissociates as H plus and Cl minus. Here, the bond between electronegative oxygen and electropositive sodium dissociates. The Na plus sets free with the Cl minus in the form of NaCl. And finally, we will get our desired product or end product. That one is salicylic acid. Okay. So, this one is very important reaction. Ha, here, one thing more. This sodium phenoxide, this can be obtained from phenol by the reaction with an alkali like NaOH. So, NaOH is base or alkali and phenol is acidic in nature. So, the H plus comes out with the OH minus in the form of water and sodium ion will form bond with delta negative oxygen and we will get sodium phenoxide. So, this one is the mechanism of the reaction.